Hey there, my name is Josh Vector. I'm one of the co-founders of Product Manager HQ, and I'm also the head of product and founder of a software company called Squibbler. And in today's video, I'd like to discuss two fundamental roles in product management, the product manager and the UX designer. As you know, both UX designers and product managers want to create a beautiful product. You also know that both of them think about design and interactions. But how do you really set their job descriptions apart? Do their roles clash? What do UX designers want from product managers? These are some of the questions that we'll be exploring throughout this video. But first, don't forget to like our video and subscribe to our channel so you can get updated on everything product management from product management experts. Now let's go ahead and jump in. Before we dive deeper into both of these roles, let's first explain what user experience is. User experience is the overall feeling or mood that a person has when using a product such as a website or computer application, emphasizing in turn how easy it is to use or how happy they feel. Therefore, user experience or UX design is a discipline that covers the end-to-end -end experience of a product. UX designers are responsible for understanding the target customer's challenges when using a particular product and then designing an elegant solution that helps users solve those challenges. It just so happens that the goal of providing a solution to customers overlaps with the product manager's goals. That's why it's not surprising that there's a lot of confusion as to where one role ends and the other begins. In fact, in many smaller startups, the product manager usually ends up taking on the role of the UX designer. In doing so, you're expected to understand the product market, your company business goals, user needs, and the best way to prioritize features and manage a team. But as teams get larger and stakeholders become more numerous, the two roles split into more specialized positions. This makes sense because in such cases, it becomes difficult for one person to take on so many tasks and responsibilities and still be effective in delivering the product. Let's kick things off by taking a look at what product managers do in the team. Primarily, product managers are responsible for the overall success of the product. Product managers are a lot like product CEOs. They set goals to find success, help motivate teams, and are responsible for that outcome. Product managers also coordinate with different departments and stakeholders. They balance tech, UX, and stakeholder needs in order to manage the trade-offs that arise. They also define requirements and prioritize features, thus determining what has to be done by the product development team. This involves tasks such as choosing from the long list of ideas for what is important, realistic, and urgent in a product life cycle and acting upon it. Last thing here, it's important to know that product managers are the reference point in a team when it comes to understanding user needs and the fundamentals of a product's design. Good product managers always work based on a framework. These provide the basic steps involved in a company's product roadmap from idea to launch. Today, businesses are using revamp methodology for product development, all which vary based on the product strategy that is being implemented. That said, it usually contains as many as 11 steps, namely ideation, research, design, prototyping, developing, documenting, testing, training, release, maintenance, and ultimately retirement, which signals the end of a product's life cycle. Now let's take a look at what the UX designer does. In most companies, UX designers are responsible for the usability of the product. With this, they go through a process to optimize applications and create the best user experience by exploring different approaches to create the best possible solution for the customers. To support the solution that they created, they conduct usability studies and research. A way to do this is for a UX designer to conduct an in-person session to observe user behavior. As a result, they refine and tweak applications, software, or websites to cater to what the customers like and find easy to use. Next, they define the product layout and how it will best function. They evaluate existing applications or products they work with and evaluate the user experience effectiveness. Finally, they need to take on a very focused understanding of user needs and designs to solve the user's problems. As a UX designer, you must always put on the design thinking hat and consider the human computer interaction element of a design. In order for product managers to work effectively together with UX designers, it's important for product managers to understand that they are responsible for the bigger picture, namely collaborating among all product groups, making a strong case for the product vision and defining the what, not just being the authority and the product team when it comes to specific UX designs. 
Product managers should work closely with UX designers to better understand the product's users because UX designers are, by virtue of their role, usually the closest to actual users. Product managers should look to UX designers for their expertise in product design and usability studies, while at the same time lending a critical eye in making sure everything makes sense in the larger context. UX designers in turn also benefit from a good understanding of the business context and recognizing that there are many other factors involved that a product manager needs to take into account. When everything is said and done, both the product manager and the UX designer share the same ultimate goal, which is to create the best possible product with an amazing user experience design. Now that we've broken down the ways in which product managers and UX designers complement and work with each other, I'd like to ask you one quick question. Can you think of any other ways in which product managers and UX designers can work together? Now go ahead, leave your answer in the comment section below, and there we have it. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to go ahead and subscribe to our channel, like the video, and that way you can keep up to date with everything product management. And I wish you the best of luck in your career journey in product. And I'll see you on some of our following videos. Cheers.